up, guys? It is Tuesday, September 25th. Welcome to the Sick News Network. I'm Sky Hobbs. And I'm Michael Bernson. Now let's head over to that strange weather. For today's weather, the high is going to be 82 and the low is going to be 67. And a slight chance for rain, so bring something to wear. Whatever you like. I don't care. Uh, for the week's weather, the highs are in the lower 80s and the lows are in the upper 60s. Now back to Mike and Sky for your lunchtime meetings. For your lunchtime meetings, Tuesday, FCA will have a Bible study and band officers will be meeting. Wednesday, we have no meetings. Thursday, Color Guard will meet and FCA will meet on Friday. Hey, juniors and seniors. This is something exciting for you to keep, stay in school and keep your attendance up. Because on Tuesday, December 4th, girls and boys basketball game versus Berryville, Southern Big will be sponsoring a money grab for all juniors and seniors who have 95% overall attendance. All juniors and seniors with 95% overall attendance will receive a t-shirt on November 30th, and their name will be placed in a drawing. The winner of the drawing will have a set amount of time to pick up the money off the court at halftime. The total amount possible is $500. Of the $500 that is not picked up, remaining will be donated towards the veterans reception. Any senior boy that wasn't wearing a collared shirt needs to plan on having their picture taken on the retake day, which is Friday, October 12th. Anyone who did not get their picture taken on the first time, they will need to get theirs on Friday, October 12th as well. Ms. Janelle will have the picture forms for anyone who would like to order them in the office. Pink out shirts are selling out fast. Be sure to order yours from Mrs. McDonald. She is also selling them at the home game. A representative from University of Missouri will be here to see any interested juniors and seniors tomorrow at 1 p.m. There is a sign-up sheet on Mrs. Hobbs' door. Remember, if you do not sign up, you will not be able to go. Thank you. Thank you for those who have signed up for the PSAT. Just turn in that $14 to Mrs. Hobbs. Please and thank you. Tonight is a home volleyball game against the Sparta Lady Trojans. Be sure to wear your zombie outfits to help Cheer on the mighty Bulldogs. And remember, do not wear them to school. Save it for the game and make sure they are school appropriate. Please and thank you. There will be no FBLA on Wednesday. Since we had you at the poll, that's right, see you at the poll, which is a global prayer, will be posted on Wednesday at noon in front of the high school. All students, faculty, and staff are welcome to come in and join. Don't forget, FCA members, laser tag this Wednesday in the gym. Light Light dinner will be served at 5.30. The cost will be $10 per person, and all of the FCA members are encouraged to attend. Now for your birthdays. Happy B-Day to freshman Lance Clark. Hope you have a great day. Hello and welcome to sports. Congratulations to a Blue Light Volleyball Girls in my first place win at Galena Tournament. Way to go. Today the volleyball team will be at home hosting the Sparta Lady Trojans. The theme for tonight's game will be zombies, so get your outfits ready and wear them to the game tonight. Thursday, the Lady Bulldogs will be traveling to Fulham. The games will begin at 6 with JV and Varsity to follow. Cross Country will be hosting the Blue Light Invitational this weekend on Saturday. The high school boys will run at 9 o'clock with the high school ladies to, to run at 9.45. Starting on Thursday, the baseball boys will be traveling to Seymour for a free day wood bat tournament. The Bulldogs will play on Thursday at 5.15 versus the Gainesville Bulldogs, a dog on dog match. And then again at 7.30 versus the Seymour Tigers, we won't be playing any games on Friday. However, the boys will be back in Seymour to play on Saturday. Hopefully we win. Times will be announced Friday. Be sure to come out and support your local Bulldogs. That's all for sports. Now let's head over to this day in history with Avery. For this day in history, 1975, Pink Floyd's concept album, Wish You Were Here, reaches number one in the U.S. and goes on sale for 13 million copies. 1965, the Beatles cartoon shows begins in the U.S. 1934, Lou Gehrig plays in his 1500th consecutive game in baseball. That's all for this day in history. Now your local news. For your local news today, set to decide whether Bill Cosby at age 81 goes to prison as he was convicted of sexually assaulting the Temple University women's basketball team. In 2004, the 81-year-old comedian will be facing years in prison. For your other local news today, Crash kills a man from Ozark. Chad Anderson, age 46, died after a crash near Nixa Sunday night. Troopers say Anderson SUV ran off highway at Enman Road. Anderson was thrown from the SUV after it hit a sign and a tree. 
That is all for your local news today. Now back to Mike and Sky. Well, I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday because I am because I'm wearing my awesome favorite shirt. It's Stranger Things. And don't forget, we're not just the news. We're the news with a Z. News with a Z and Stranger Things. See ya. A lunar fact, the moon's name is actually Selene in Greek.